I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. They're on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cyclones, in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time, where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome, and I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 33-yard line, second down. And he's stuck behind the line. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offensive passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's to the 40, and it's caught. And he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for them. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. From their own 47-yard line, third down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Taylor, back to return it. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled in the open field. around the 27-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Milton is the deep man awaiting the return. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. First and 10. Ball on the 31. Keep it deep. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. 
That makes it second and two. And down he goes at the 35. We've got a third and six here. Ball in the 35. Let's go! He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. Rivera awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws complete, he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 36. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 36. Quick pass. Brought down right around the 36 yard line. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. Screen to the back, no good. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Steps out at the 31-yard line. From the 31-yard line, it's third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws a strike over the middle, and he's tackled at the 21. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Here's a running play. He's tackled right around the 20. We've played one. Now this one's scoreless. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Inside the 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Here's the eighth play of the series. converts the extra point. It was an eight-play, 70-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Campbell ready to kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Makes it to the 34. Second it's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. From their own 29-yard line. It's third down. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Positive yardage. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 47. And he's taken down at the 45. That play is good for eight yards and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. an open field tackle. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty yard line. To him again, complete. He's brought down in the open field. That's good for the of your hearts. That brings him second and five. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Grabs it and hammered right there. So we're looking at another third down here. They come out on an empty backfield. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 7-3, Indiana. Iowa State gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He goes out of bounds at the 26. He 
Indiana holds a four-point lead. Up the middle for a nice game. First and ten. Ball on their own 32. He's taken down at the 44. Zips it to the back. Tackle around the 50-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they make the stop at the 37. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29. And this play is number eight on the drive. Deep pass to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Unbelievable. He had a pick in the end zone, and it just slipped right through his hands. Wow. He is really kicking himself after that one. They'll line it up again on third down. Five wide. And a quick throw. Good open field tackle. Indiana is up four. He's on the run. And down he goes. Right around the eight-yard line. Fires that quickly incomplete. And this is the 12th play of the drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Campbell looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cyclones know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you've got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you've got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. Game. The Hoosiers lead 10-3. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. 
That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. They come out in a five-wide set. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Indiana is up by a touchdown. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it third and 11. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Set. 10, 9, 2, 1. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. Milton is the deep man awaiting the return. Milton fields it at the 27. Brought down at the 43-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he throws it away. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Caught with room to work. Very good tackle in space. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down around the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 32. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check back to the seven. Check back to the seven. Ready, 180. He's got it out to his tight end. And they'll get him in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you could see it in the way he threw that pass. And he's tackled at the one. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the one. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. 
An eight-play, 57-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Iowa State is lining up to kick this one off. Hewitt from the one. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26. Makes it to the 44. Taken down at the 43. From the 43 yard line, first down. Runs it right, nice pickup. He gets to about the 27 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27 yard line. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They hand it off. They'll knock him down for a loss. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Cyclones lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. Quick throw. Tackle made right around the 12-yard line. the 12 yard line first down run inside stop quickly so with one quarter remaining and a 10-10 tie in this game. All tied up and we head to the all-important fourth quarter. He tackles him for a loss. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. Mike, Mike 
They'll give it off here. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Campbell has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Whoa, he just took a licking. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. That brings him second and five. From their own 22-yard line. It's second down. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it first and ten. They come out on an empty backfield. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. From their own 33-yard line, second down. They try the right side. Runs right for a nice game. That's a deal. That'll bring up third and two. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike, Mike. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. 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 And they'll bring him down behind the line. This is picture-perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. Taylor, back deep to return. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. You look up at the clock, Herbie, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 47. Five wide. Here they come. Throws out on the run as receivers got it. Tackle at the 21. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. A nine-yard pickup by the tailback on the counter play. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one.
Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, game. offense. offense. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Indiana lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. And hey, we've seen some crazy things over the years in college football. You never know what could happen. If the offense can score in a hurry, you never know here late in this game. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And down he goes at midfield. That just shows you what an asset he is in this offense. When he's not doing damage as a runner, he's making the defense suffer in the passing game. Let's go. The Throws a bullet. Pulls it in, and he could score. Down the sideline. Touchdown. Huge play. The huge pass and catch for the touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he hits the PAT. And he just got drilled. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 23. Right, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Two times, two times. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. going to do it for this one. Our final score, 2017, Indiana. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.